I've got big news, everyone. Okay, you ready for this? I found a snake that I not only kind of like, but think is underrated. talked about species I think are overrated. You can check out my lychee video if you want. And um, I've talked about other species that are just very common, very oversaturated, and that you see everywhere. I've talked about it. I'm not that interested in snakes, but Dumeril's boas are actually pretty cool. On me, this is a male, a younger male Dumeril's boa. I'll have a bunch of clips of an adult female that I was handling to show you kind of some size differences, and I'm gonna talk about them, because that's usually what I do in videos. When it comes to larger snakes, there's a lot of people that have smaller species, like a ball python or a corn snake, that want something a bit bigger, but not necessarily as big as a reticulated python or a Burmese python or something. Also, if I'm talking a little fast, I look a little different, or I'm acting a little bit jittery, I drink like this much of a Dunkin' cappuccino, I am not allowed around caffeine. My tolerance is so low that literally five sips makes, like, my hand is shaking right now. So, I don't always look like I'm on coke, but today, <laughs> I, I consumed caffeine. So anyway, yeah, a lot of people look for an animal that they can kind of scale up a little bit, but that's not way too hard. Just something a little bit bigger to handle, something you can feed larger prey items to, and stuff like that. And up until this point, I've always recommended boa constrictors or boa constrictor imperators. They're not too hard to find, they're pretty cheap, and they get like five to eight feet, depending on whether you get a male or a female. A uh, female's getting bigger. And when I tell people about the care, I basically say it's like ball python care. You just scale it up in size. Same temperatures, humidity, substrate, stuff like that. Just scale it up to a larger size, bigger prey items, larger enclosure, and you basically have boa constrictor care with little differences here and there. But when it comes to Dumeril's boas, it's basically corn snake hair, just scaled up, bigger size. So slightly lower temperatures, lower humidity, and a little bit different feeding. And you just kind of take corn care and, and make it bigger. And then you get a general idea of what caring for Dumeril's boa is like. Look-wise, they don't really look like corn snakes. Also, unlike corn snakes, they are boas instead of colubrids, and so they like to spend a bit more time kind of under the substrate, uh, or just lower down in general. They won't necessarily bask quite as often, and they're not really going to be a climbing species that much. The adult female that you see me handling, she actually really does like to explore sometimes, and she will climb, but it is less frequent than like a boa constrictor, um, who is a similar size again but likes a bit more height and a bit more space and likes to climb more and bask more. The reason I actually think they are pretty cool is because they get to this very manageable size where you can lift them and move them around with no problems. And generally speaking, they can be pretty docile. Of course, it depends on how they were raised. The boa you saw, that's actually Alice's. Of course, I still want it for other animals. Um, <laughs> the person she got them from did not care for her well at all, and she was super defensive and constantly struck, and he said he's been bitten over and over and over. She got them from him, and instantly, completely calm, completely chill. But Dumeril's boas, I've noticed, are super aggressive eaters, which I consider a good thing. They generally have a very easy and good feeding response, so there are a lot of snakes, like say ball pythons, many people do have trouble getting them to eat consistently every week throughout the entire year. But Dumeril's, in my experience, has been super simple, just like a corn snake, where as long as the husbandry is right, they seem to never really go off feed. There could be exceptions to this, but that's how it's been with them here. Also, they are pretty slow. Corns are a lot faster, ball pythons are a bit slower, and BCIs are kind of in the middle, I would say. But Dumeril's, I would say, have the temperament of a ball python while having the care and chillness of a corn snake. So I think it's a pretty good mix. But one of the big problems is finding them. Uh, this one, it, he actually just sold on Emerald Scales. I'm not sure if they're gonna respond. Sometimes customers simply don't reply or don't send the right enclosure, so we have to cancel orders. Some animals have sold five plus times and we still have to cancel. So basically there's a chance the snake could go back on the site. You can monitor there, you can join the newsletter if you want updates. Um, and so we do sell Dumeril's boas, but to date, We've only sold one, and that's this guy. When it comes to finding trustworthy and safe places to buy 
reptiles, it can be difficult, so sadly I don't have a ton of advice on where to specifically find Dumeril's boas. If you have any recommendations, you can leave them in the comments for people. Just don't leave a link, because YouTube will mark that as spam, but yeah, you get the idea. So, finding them is probably the worst thing about them. They are also a bit more expensive. This one I think sold for like 600 bucks. Um, when <laughs> boa constrictor imperators, you can find babies for maybe under $100. Whatever it is, it's definitely like less than half of a Dumeril's. Obviously, corn snakes and ball pythons, you can find under 100 So they are going to be a bit pricier, but uh, in the long run, it's not going to cost a ton. They are going to want a big enclosure so that they're comfortable and stuff and can uh, move around and explore but if they want. They're not crazy active so they don't need something massive but it's, it's going to be bigger and it'll take up a decent footprint in your like room. They are fed less often than smaller snakes. Um, I usually feed our like large animals like Rosie the boa constrictor. She eats about once a month. Now I'm feeding her a bit more often which you can watch a video on her old age uh, so that she does continue to build some weight here and there. Yeah, Dumeril's boas. I think they're actually kind of cool. Um, this one obviously you can see is super chill but he is a crazy eater. When I open his enclosure he is it looks like he like there's a chance of him striking simply because he doesn't know if it's me or if it's food and we feed all of our snakes in the enclosures i don't think that taking them out of the enclosure is the best for feeding them i don't think it's this end all be all thing if you do but uh people say that they are going to be food aggressive if you feed them in the enclosure and you should take them out first and feed them somewhere else so that they don't associate it with it but it seems like if they associate you taking them out of the enclosure equaling food soon it's it's kind of the same thing. Also, it does increase the likelihood of them regurgitating their food if you're moving them around. Overall, I just, I think it's better to feed them in the enclosure, but you can do either. And my point in mentioning this is I do feed him in his enclosure. And each time I feed him, it's in the enclosure and I can take him out like this with no problem. I just gotta kinda give him a, a slow, a slow poke, you could say, so that he knows that I'm not a mouse or a rat. And you just need to make sure that you don't smell like mice or rats, cause they might latch on and not let go. Not the craziest thing. They can't really hurt you. They're not going to kill you. Um, even a t it, they couldn't even kill a toddler probably at this size. An adult, maybe. But generally, I think you'll be supervising unless you do just have too many children. Um, so yeah, I don't really have anything else to add about them and I might as well keep this short and sweet. If you've been looking for a slightly bigger snake, I think Demerals are a good choice without going crazy big like a retic or a Burmese python. Um, I still have my Burmese, but I just don't have anything to say about them. People keep asking for a video, so maybe I'll like compare sizes or something like small, medium, and large snakes, but let me know what you want to see in this regard with snakes, and that'll be it for this video. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching. And I need to like go get rid of some energy somehow. I'll go run laps around the house.